Alright, so this is the all new Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus. Now, Redmi Note series is a popular phone in India because whatever features you get on the Redmi Note series will eventually come to other budget and mid range phones. And well, this one IP68. And not just that, it has Contin Gorilla Glass Victus, 12 bit display, NFC, curved AMOLED screen, and all of this for a starting price of 29999 with bank offers. So at that price, how is Redmi giving us so many features? Are they cutting corners? Well, let's find that out together. Alright, so Redmi went all out with the Santa Claus red thing with the box. Oh, at least this Santa is made in India. Santa. 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 <laughs> Inside you get the phone, paperwork, black silicon cover. This is nice. Type A to Type C cable, 120 watts charger and a SIM ejector tool. Now, there are three upgrades with this Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus and first would be the design. Like, they call this color Fusion Purple and just have a look at this. It looks pretty unique. Anyone remembers Project Ara? Anyone? Anyone? Mm. Kind of, kind of same look. Now, it weighs in around 198 to 199 grams, which I would say is very normal. And here's something funny. See, if I turn around the phone this way, doesn't this look like Wally? <laughs> Now the highlight here is IP68, so you can dip it in water, it will survive. Because you're getting a vegan leather finish with a fully curved design, so it feels premium plus grippy in the hand. Now for those who are looking for other options, there is also a black and white variant which has a glass bag, but I really like this finish, like it's poppy, looks poppy. Now the second thing that I really enjoyed here is watching movies. Let me see if I can show you what I mean. So see here, I'll play this YouTube video on Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus and iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I would say there's not much difference here. Like both are equally vibrant, colors, brightness, sharpness and all are identical. And I'm not saying that iPhone's display is bad, but the Redmi's display quality is just as good. Plus this display supports HDR cum Dolby Vision on Netflix and it has a peak brightness of 1800 nits. So watching movies like Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse looks great. It also has good stereo speakers and Dolby Atmos. Oh, by the way, you get a 6.67 inch 120Hz 1.5K curved AMOLED display. Now, liking curved display is very subjective. You might or might not like it, but it does make the phone feel premium. Also, an added bonus is you get Corning Gorilla Glass Victus, which I believe is the first in this price segment. Plus, it also has an in-display fingerprint scanner, which is pretty fast and accurate. And speaking of fast, this comes with a Dimensity 7200 Ultra chip, 12GB LPDDR5 RAM and 256GB UFS 3.1 storage. However, the base variant starts from 8GB RAM, 256GB storage and goes all the way up to 12512GB. Now, in normal regular use, browsing the web, watching videos and all of that, there is no lag or anything. And we ran a few benchmarks. On Android 2, it scored around 7,11,000, which is similar to Snapdragon 888. Plus, we ran the CPU throttling test for 15 minutes and see the graph is all green. There is no overheating or anything as such. And then playing normal games like Asphalt and all, the phone does a pretty good job. But how well does it handle everyone's favorite VGMI? Well, let's see. So you can play 60 FPS as smooth graphics and let's go. Maru, maru, maru. Nice, you get like 60 FPS. So yeah, for the price, I would say the performance that you get is pretty good. Now coming to the camera, things are pretty interesting here. Let's talk about the good things first. You get a 200 megapixel main camera with OIS and in outdoor daylight condition, the picture come out pretty nice. Like the colors, sharpness, HDR and all, they're quite nice. We even clicked a few pictures in portrait mode, background blur, subject cutout, everything is spot on. Now, yes, you also get a 200 megapixel mode because of course, this is a 200 megapixel camera. But the main advantage of a 200 megapixel sensor is this. Like you can 2x, 4x zoom into a photo. Now you'll be like, Pratik, that is just digital crop. Like I can just zoom into the photo after taking it. Well, Redmi has put some effort here. Like, let me explain. So I click this picture of the flower in normal mode. Now if I digitally crop in 4x, the picture looks like this. But now see on the camera app, you get this 4x zoom option. And now if I click the same picture zoomed in, see the 4x picture from the camera app looks so much better. Now. That's because of high-res camera sensor and software processing and mark my words, you will see more and more phones do this in sensor crop in 2024. And this is the real usage of 50, 64 or 200 megapixel sensors. Now, moving on to low light images, if you reduce the light, the story changes. See, we took quite a few shots indoors and I would say the pictures are okay. Plus, you get an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and the pictures from this are also decent. And here's a weird thing. See, every time I switch to the ultra wide angle, there is slight delay. So maybe this can be fixed with a software update. 
So the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus can shoot in 4K 30 FPS, and this is how the stabilization, the mic quality, and the video quality is. And then there is also this 2 megapixel macro camera, which is like adding extra figure in Coca Cola. On the front, you can shoot max 1080p 30 or 60 FPS. Also, you get a 16 megapixel front selfie camera. I like the selfies, the skin tone, sharpness, color, and all of that. They make the picture look presentable. Another area which is kind of good and bad here is software. Good first. So you get Android 13 right out of the box, and Redmi is promising three years of OS update and four years of security. Patches. Also, the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus is now running MIUI 14, but Xiaomi has promised that it will get HyperOS pretty soon. We have already given our first look at HyperOS in this video. You can go check that out after watching this. Other than this, the animation and all is pretty fluid on MIUI. Plus, you get extra software features here. Like, you have a custom dialer now. So, when you do this, there is no call recording announcement. Having said that, there are quite a few bloatwares here and there. Like, you get bubble shooter and all of that. Plus, you get these notifications rarely. Now, you can, of course, uninstall them or disable them. That's there. Now, before we get to the conclusion, a special mention to the haptics over here. Like, for this price range, the haptic feedback here is excellent. Like, I can't explain this on camera. But see here, if I remove an icon from the home screen, it bursts into a bubble and you get that vibration feedback while it happens. Besides this, you get a 5000 mAh battery which should easily last you one day on a normal usage. Plus, it supports 120 watt fast charging so you can go like 100% in about 20 minutes or so. Like, these are not new features but always good to have. So that was our first impression of the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus. So did Redmi cut any corners? Well, if you compare it to the last year's variant, everything from performance to build quality to design to display is an upgrade. Now, the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus has launched for a price of 3199. You also get 2000 bank discount, 2500 exchange discount and all of that, which brings the effective price to 2999, which makes it very interesting for this price segment because there are also other good phones. So if you can get that bank discount and bring the price down, to 30,000, then it is a good premium offering. And let us know which phone do you want us to compare this with. Comment the name below. If you pick up, we'll give you a shout out. On that note, this is the signing off. See you in the next video. Pew, pew.